Last up for Pearl Harbor is my visit to the USS Bofin and the Pacific Fleet Submarine Museum. As you would expect, the Submarine Museum has multiple interactive exhibits, models, as well as artifacts like this bell from the USS Bofin itself. In my previous existence, I worked as an electrical engineer, so anything electrical I find interesting, like these ginormous batteries that power the sub when it's underwater. I was also fascinated by the see-through view of the Mark 14 torpedo. Kamikaze torpedo submarine thing. Let's move inside the bowfin now where we land in the forward torpedo room. Mm, torpedoes. And torpedo tubes. There's room for 16 torpedoes in this small space. If you do the boat fin, try not to crack your head open on the hatch here. Having toured a battleship earlier in the day, the submarine is much more compact as you would expect. Watch your head as you're going through hatches. Looking up at the periscope, I had to ask where that was. And then the crew spaces, racks and eating areas. This is where you really get a sense of how cramped this could be if it was full of people. Snug. That's crazy. It's a lot of racks in one place. Oh, the electrical bus. The batteries must be in there, I'm guessing. After consulting my references, batteries are located in the fore and aft parts of the ship. The total battery complement weighs 189 tons. That is just incredible. Diesel engines need a supply of air and they cannot, of course, be used underwater where there is no air. And just like that, we reached the rear torpedo room. And the exit. I don't know if those guards are original equipment or added afterwards, but I suspect they're there to protect the propellers. On the deck, there is a five inch 25 caliber naval gun I always wondered how a gun can be exposed to the seawater and then still be operable once it's out of the water. Things that make you go, hmm. Anyway, that wraps up my visit to the Bowfin and the Submarine Museum. If you have any questions or comments about Pearl Harbor and my visits, please post those below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks for watching today and happy travels.